Well, it had to happen at some point on this trip. Welcome to construction traffic in Charleston, West Virginia. Stay tuned. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Get Out and Ride. It is now day six and I'm on US 19 heading out of Fayetteville, West Virginia. Today's destination being Dayton, Ohio where I will stop for the night. Uh, mainly, main purpose for that destination is because the US Air Force Museum is there at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. So I'll be staying right next to the Air Force Base uh, to make a stop in that museum because it's one of my favorites in the country. Been there many times uh, so I figured why not take an opportunity to stop through there on the way back to Chicago. So I'm gonna do that today, and then day seven tomorrow, I will make the final push back in through Indiana and up into Chicago, and we will make this trip a wrap. Um, yesterday was really great. If you haven't seen the footage from previous days, I've got the links in the description down below. You can go check those out. Um, outside of hitting a little bit of rain near the Virginia, West Virginia border, yesterday went out, went really well. I, I had a good time. Um, even though it was mostly interstate, at least in this part of the country, there's a little bit of scenery on the interstate. So it made it a lot more tolerable. And I made pretty good time, was able to get in town um, in enough time to have kind of a late lunch, early dinner with my friends that were here in town and go over to uh, one of the resorts at New River Gorge and just have a great night and uh, yeah it was a really good time otherwise so heading out this morning and uh, we'll see what today's route brings so I will go ahead and cut over to the footage for today so go ahead and check that out and I will get back with you in a little bit
right, so there you go. There was some footage of day six of this trip. Uh, very easy day of riding. It was only about 250 miles. The majority of it on Interstate 64 through West Virginia and US 35 through Ohio. Um, really just kind of sad to see the uh, scenery flatten out. Um, after all these days looking at the amazing mountains and all the color changes and stuff, it's been really great to see, but now we're just getting kind of back to the flatland of the Midwest, unfortunately. So scenery's not as good, so clearly there wasn't nearly as much footage to share with you today just because, eh, what you see here, I guess, I don't know, for some people it might be nice. I see a lot of this. It's not too interesting to me. I really love the mountain landscapes, and so it's really kind of sad to have those gone now. But that's okay, getting closer to home. Tomorrow's the last day. I'll be leaving out of Dayton, Ohio tomorrow and heading back into Chicago. Um, haven't finalized yet which way I'm going. I think I'll probably do mostly interstate for that last day because I've got about 300 miles to take care of. And it's the last day. I've got things to get back to on Tuesday. Tomorrow's Monday. Um, so it's not like I've got days off after that to kind of recoup and get things together. I want to kind of get home quickly tomorrow and knock it out. And I'll be riding mostly through like central to northern Indiana, which as I've mentioned before, um, some interesting destinations there, but nah, not a lot of amazing riding roads. Indiana's good riding roads are down in the southern part of the state. So I'll see how that goes, but we'll wrap this trip up tomorrow. And I'm going to wrap up today's uh, video for day number six. And of course, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and click subscribe if you haven't already done that. But until I see you next time, go ahead and get out and ride, everybody. Take care. Be safe. See ya.